play. Obstacle. And then he goes to New Orleans, and it's a natural disaster. Katrina, obstacle. They play home games in San Antonio. And then halfway through his stay in New Orleans, Sean Payton gets suspended for a year, his architect. The greatest eight quarterbacks I've ever seen play the game. Peyton, Brady, Montana, Bradshaw, Elway, Marino, Aikman, Breeze. Uh, and, and all of them have different stories. But compare it to Peyton Manning. Peyton Manning DNA. Perfect. 6'5". Peyton Manning's dad. NFL quarterback. Peyton Manning had his choice of SEC schools surrounded by NFL players. And then when he goes to Indianapolis, oh, they land Bill Polian, Hall of Fame general manager. I mean, if you think about Peyton Manning's life, and he deserves all the acclaim, he didn't face all these obstacles. Drew Brees from DNA on, nothing but hurdles, nothing but roadblocks. It's, it's unbelievable. It's just like it's a steeplechase. Hurdle after hurdle after hurdle after hurdle after hurdle. Congratulations to Drew Brees, one of my all-time favorite guys. His story is as great as anybody that's ever played that position in this league. Amazing. It's a big night of college basketball tonight on FS1, beginning at 7.30 Eastern as number six Michigan State faces off with Nebraska. Then Oregon State battles Arizona State at 10. A college hoops doubleheader tonight on FS1 and the Fox Sports app. Gonna, Duke's going to face Michigan in the NCAA championship. I'm going to stay right right now. Happy birthday to Joy Taylor. Duke will face Michigan in the NCAA championship. By the way, Peloton, I always mess this name up. Peloton is a game-changing indoor cycling bike. Uh, gives you the energy of live studio classes in your home. 14 live rides a day, 10,000 more on demand. Go to OnePeloton.com. Is that right? Peloton, yes. OnePeloton.com. I've seen these things. They're very good. I love cycling. Yeah. Especially in the rain. It's a great workout. Your birthday. Well, Peloton <laughs> solves that because you get to stay inside. Here's Joy with the news. No, 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 no. Turn on the news. This is the Herdline News. All right, so the 2018 season is behind the Dallas Cowboys. What will he do with Jason Garrett? Rumors after the season suggested that Garrett was in line for an extension, but they've yet to ink a new deal. And this is what he told 105.3 The Fan in Dallas when he was asked to commit to the 2019 return of their head coach. Why would I put some kind of statement out that says uh, this is what we're going to do when we might have an opportunity here next week? This is the time when these things are thought about. This is the time when they're chewed on. This is the time when uh, you may see an opportunity next week you didn't know existed this week. In the area of personnel or in the area of coaching. And I'm not trying to be cute here. I'm just saying that... Uh, uh, one of the advantages that we have is that we can operate with that kind of flexibility. Oh, I love when Jerry gets cranky. You know, for the record, they did win their division. Yeah. I mean, I just let's let's. I, I just want to remind everybody the Dallas Cowboys won their division and won a playoff game. Mm -hmm. They're all good. Well, I <laughs> they're mean, not perfect. They're not perfect. Everybody's and got a problem. Brady's forty-one. That'll be a problem in two years. And the Cowboys' offense is kind of simplistic. I'll throw this at you. Dax Young. It right. took Russell Wilson, he admits, about year three when the light went on. It is possible that some of this offense is not only based to Dak's limitations, but that he's young. And they don't want to, you know, I mean, Dak became a surprise starter a couple years ago. He was fourth round pick. Tony got hurt. Some of this could just be the coaching staff saying, you know, every year we're going to give him a little more and a little more and a little more. But they did win their division to win a playoff game. There's no there's no change going to happen at the head coaching position. Uh, Sean Payton's not leaving the Saints. And, uh, McVay is not going to make himself available right. for the Cowboys. If that's even possible, which I doubt it is. Jason Garrett's going to stay right where he is. I, I, I do like when, Jer when Jerry fires back, though. Jerry's usually very good with the media. You know, he does his he does his thing. But every once in a while, he gets a question he doesn't like. Yes. And he still does his thing, but he does it with a, with a little bit of extra. <laughs> um. uh, yeah, a little attitude to it. So Antonio Brown is now stirring things up on the Internet again. He recently removed references to Pittsburgh and the Steelers from his social media accounts. <sighs> Right. And he has also hinted at an interview coming up that would explain his falling out with the team and other figures around the league. 
please do that. We would like to see that. Uh, these moves have caused people like Bruce Arians and Emmanuel Sanders to criticize Brown. Bruce Arians said that he was a diva. Emmanuel Sanders said, you know, he wasn't the best teammate. Um, who, of course, uh, he took offense to their comments. In response to Arians, he tweeted, he didn't draft me. He drafted Emmanuel Sanders, same guy who missed rehab to go on networks to talk about me on situation on a situation he has zero clue. Arians now wears Kangol hats and glasses, but I'm a diva. Then seen it all. Then they say we're friends. Stop lying. Why Again, Antonio Brown kind of needs to grow up. Well, he's very he doesn't like people talking about him. And then in response to Sanders, he tweeted, clearly they feel indifferent about me seeing all these reports. The big interview is coming. Watching my teammates, fans, and the organization show me how they really feel. Stay woke. All right. Well, he'll play somewhere. He will play somewhere. I will say this. Um, it's not it's not a good feeling to have people talk about you, especially if they're being critical of you. But I would also say that if this is not really what's happening, just let everyone know what it is then. But there's multiple people coming out and saying that this is who you are, and then you're responding to them. I don't know. Like you, you have to, you, you have no explanation for why all this is happening. You know, he has the opportunity to create his own narrative here. Yeah. He's just saying they're all wrong. They're all wrong. Yeah. Finally, there's probably not a more coveted player right now in the NBA than Anthony Davis, with his uh, unique blend of skills. He's a very valuable trade chip, which yeah. is probably why we've heard teams like the Lakers and the Celtics interested in him. But yesterday, Woj said Rich Paul told me they have not had any real substantial discussions about Anthony's future in New Orleans. Remember, he's with Clutch. There's no promises about his future beyond the trade deadline. It's safe to say right now, New Orleans does not want to trade him. They will have to be forced into doing that. By the way, now that the Lakers are going into the tank without LeBron, what are they going to trade to New Orleans that New Orleans would want? I'll be honest with you. Boston can trade a ton. I mean, if, if I'm New Orleans and I look at what Boston can give me, Jalen Brown, Al Horford, I mean, you could give me several pieces. What is, I'm going to look at Los Angeles and go, I saw Brandon Ingram when LeBron was hurt. I saw Lonzo. They didn't do anything. Well, New Orleans can obviously offer him the most amount of money because they can give him the Supermax deal. But he told Chris Haynes of Yahoo Sports that legacy was more important to him than money. However, Let me however, you if he stays in New Orleans, he's going to be a legend in, in New Orleans for the rest of time. Like, he, like for, yeah, but, for the future well beyond after basketball as well. But if he goes to Boston, I mean, this idea that now LeBron's hurt, he's going to miss 15 straight games. You know, this idea... New Orleans at some point wants more good players. Boston's got far. I watched Boston beat Toronto last night. They got far more good players. The Lakers without LeBron, look at them. Outside of Kyle Kuzma, what do they have? What are they going? What are you going to give me? Boston can give three legitimate play, and Boston I think also has more picks. Boston and, and this idea that Anthony Davis wouldn't stay in Boston. If Anthony Davis goes to Boston and plays with Kyrie Irving and Jason Tatum, they're in the finals. It's gonna be hard to leave that. It's gonna leave be, it, leave and go where? That's what I'm saying. Go, is, go to the Lakers? I mean, if I was Boston, I think I'd roll the dice and say, "I'm bringing you in." And we're, you bring Anthony Davis to the Celtics, and you still have like a Jason Tatum, Kyrie Irving. I mean, that's that team's either winning the championship or, or extending it. Hard for Anthony Davis to leave that. It's going to be very interesting closer to the trade deadline. No question. Joy Taylor with the news.